Okay, I've got a few cleaning up things to do. Um, first off, I want to hide some of my variables now. I think I'm ready to do that. So I'm going to hide paddle speed. Um, I'm going to hide ball's x movement, ball's y's movement, ball's x location, ball's y's location. Um, I'm also going to change the way, this is score human, so this goes over here. This is score computer, so this goes over here. And I'm going to change the way these look. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to touch the control button and then I'm going to hit large and changes it. And again, I'm going to hit control um, and then hit large. Okay. Um, I need to uh, decorate my um, field a little bit. I want that dashed line down the middle. And I need to do some logic with the ball. Which way is it being served? Right now the ball is always going towards the um, uh, towards the human. And I don't know if I always want that to happen like that. What is that? Let's see. I'll have to figure out why the ball is not being it's not coming back. Um, oh, there it is. So why is the ball always being served towards the human? Do I like that? Um, or do I want it sometimes to be served towards the computer? Maybe always serving it towards the, the human is fine, but I do want to make some variables here. So the paddle speed is the human's paddle speed. The set ball's x movement is 15, and set ball's y movement is 4. I'm going to start using some variables in here because I can actually make some nice changes to the way the, uh, uh, the game plays by changing this. Let's say it's 2 to, two to 6. Let's see what that does for um, the way it looks. Oh, actually, and this is the Y movement, right? So I'm going to go negative 4 to, or negative 6 to, to 6. Okay, let's see what happens. So each time now the ball is served, or at least at the start of the game, we're going to end up with a different position or a different way that the ball moves. But I really don't want to do it here, do I? I want to do it, because then it's always going to be the same. I want to do it when it resets the ball. So I need to figure out where the ball is being reset. Um, so this is what's fine as four, I guess, as the first serve. And then this random is where the ball is going to be reset. So let's see where where this actually happens. Um, I think it happens in the ball. So score check, it happens in score check. Score check is a thing that resets the ball. So let's go to motion. Let's look at score check. And I'm going to hit the control button. I'm going to edit that. And before you go to zero, zero, I want you to change X. So I want you to set X. Set, um, actually set Y movement. Set Y movement to a range of negative, negative six to six. Okay. So now every time uh, the, there's a score, the ball's kind of going to change the way it was served. So you'll see it's going to look a little bit different this time. Sometimes it's going to go down, sometimes it's going to go up. Okay. And it changes each time, which is perfect. Okay, um, And so that's one factor. And then something else I want to do is I want to track the score. So I never want the score to be 27. 28, for example. I want something to happen when the score is 10. So actually, I'm going to save this now, publish this video, and then we'll talk about how to, how to track these scores here um, and how to give instructions at the beginning of the game and say who won and stuff like that.